Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. Welcome to the Class Adder tutorial series. Let's go through a light mode and dark mode setup using Class Adder. In this example, we will be toggling through this button and creating a light mode and dark mode. You can see the text is changing, we have a new background image, and we are toggling back and forth between first click and second click. We have our first click and our second click information. Visually, everything that we're doing here can be done in Webflow interactions. We are changing the background image, which can't be done in Webflow interactions, but you could place a div there and show and hide it. This example is not necessarily to show you the best way to set up dark mode and light mode, but it's very possible that if you're setting up a light mode and dark mode, that Webflow interactions won't have everything you need. Maybe it needs, maybe it has most, but it doesn't have everything. For example, this background image. Maybe you need a background image. That's fine. You can do that with Class Adder. And the primary reason we're going through this is to go through a long action list of items. On the first click, we are going to do all of these action items. And on the second click, we're going to do all of these action items. We only have one trigger class. So inside this class adder, we are going to do a first click and second click and have all of our items in a list. When we are done, it will look something like this. And this is a great way to get some of the real basics here inside class adder. We're doing a click. If it's the first one, we do all these action items. If it's the second one, we do all of these action items. So we're gonna go do that, copy it in and watch it work. All right, and just to do a quick overview of what's happening here, the switch off, that is something we are targeting. We're adding a class of off and we have these add-on classes ready to go in Webflow. So you can see as I toggle this class on and off, the switcher is changing. Great. Okay. So let's jump into this, start actually building this out. First, we're going to grab our trigger. This is our light switcher. This is the toggle element up here. We have our light switcher. So when we click on this light switcher, we will run our first click and second click. So let's go into class adder. We have our trigger as light switcher and on click, we have a first click and a second click. We're going to have a new pair for every single element or every single action item in this list. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to create eight pairs inside the class adder. So we have our first, and we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second click, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. We have all of the pairs added up and now we have to do some manual entry to pick our targets and pick the classes that will be added and removed. What's nice about this one and really good to understand is that they are, they are the exact opposite. On first click, we have our switch on to add the class of off. On our second click, we have switch on to remove the class of off. So these are exact opposites in first click and second click. So let's just go through, add all of these. If you don't wanna watch the manual entry, you can go forward in the video. If you want to watch me, I'm going to be adding all of these. First click, let's go and switch on. And here on switch on, I'm going to add, not save, but I will add, not switch on. I'm going to add the off, which I probably didn't need to copy in the first place. We have our off class and we are adding it. On the second click, we're going to remove it. So I'm just going to go and write that action right now. We're gonna have our switch. And on second click, instead of adding this off, we're going to remove this off. So look at this, it is an exact opposite of first click, second click. 
And here we go, let's just go down this list. We have switch off. I'm going to add the switch off. And on switch off, we're going to add off. And that means on second click, we are then going to remove off. We're gonna grab our switcher section. We're going to add dark. Add dark, and we will do this. Okay, there we go. First mistake. Make sure you're on the right first click or second click. So instead of adding dark in this step, we're removing dark, and on the first click, we're going to add dark. So here we have this nice toggle. Great. Back on first click, let's go and add the shadow cut, and we're going to add off on that first click. And then on the second click, we will then go and remove off. Nice. All right, let's go to label off. Here we have an ID. The class adder does work with ID. So we can go place that ID. We're going to add the hide class. And the exact opposite on second click, we're going to remove the hide class. And there we go. I'm already on this. I'm going to remove it. And I will add it to here on this first one. Great, okay, we're going to go and now remove the hide class on label on for the first click. So label on, remove, hide. We have our label on, remove, hide. So we take that class away on the first click and on the second click, we will add it. Great. Let's get our styles. We are going to add the hide class. And of course, <laughs> I keep doing this, but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to switch to remove. So on second click, we're removing the hide class. And on this first click, we are going to add the hide class. And now we have our last one, our off. On first click, I'm going to remove the hide. Remove the hide. And on second click, we will then go add the hide. Okay, a lot of steps here. Look at this. It's actually pretty understandable in terms of JavaScript. I mean, it's telling you exactly what's going on here. We're taking the switch on. We're going to add off. We're taking the shadow cut, we're adding off. Label off, we're going to remove hide. It's all right here. So let's go show these comments. I'm gonna go copy the JavaScript and I'm going to now paste it here inside the site. If all went well, if this was totally correct, we will have a perfectly working light and dark mode created with Class Adder. All right, we're published up. Let's go and reload this page and Nice, there we go, we have our background image, we have our colors, second click, perfect. So this is exactly what we wanted, great. And let me just, as I close out, I'll show you the one thing that we're doing here in Class Adder that can't be done inside interactions. We have our, let's see, dark. There we go, switcher section, which we are Taking here, we're going to add dark to it. So if I go to switcher section and I'm adding dark, that is what adds this background image, dark sky. Cool, so that is how all this works. We have it working. If you have any questions about how this example works or how other examples may work, please don't hesitate to reach out, sweetjs.io. That's effing sweet.